Hi, myself Dr. Vivek Shashindran, consultant ENT head and neck surgeon. In my previous video, I did speak about evaluation of thyroid nodules. So we spoke about the clinical presentation, we spoke about blood investigations, the role of ultrasound and a fine needle aspiration cytology in coming to a diagnosis. Now when it comes to treatment of thyroid swellings, obviously we will have to have a look at the thyroid status in the sense if the circulating hormonal levels are within the normal range or not. If not, ideally this has to be managed. The patient has to be got to a euthyroid state or to a normal thyroid. Ideally, if the patient has any kind of hormonal disturbances in the blood, that has to be corrected first. In most of the situations, the patients may not have any kind of associated hypo hyperthyroidism and it's usually a swelling that we have to deal with. And as I had already mentioned that majority of these swellings are benign, of benign nature. So what are the indications for undergoing a thyroid surgery? Obviously in malignancies, yes, surgery is one of the treatment options. Apart from that, if it is a benign swelling, if the patient has pressure symptoms, so a large thyroid swelling causing pressure symptoms, then surgery is again a treatment option. And the third situation is obviously when you have cosmetic concerns. Obviously patients may not be comfortable walking around, around with a neck swelling. So these are few situations where you consider surgical options. Now what are the surgeries that you perform for a thyroid swelling? Now classically there are two surgeries. One is a hemi-thyroidectomy. So when you say hemi, you refer to removing a half of the thyroid gland. So this thyroid gland is actually a butterfly shaped gland. So it has a right lobe, a left lobe and there is a small bridge or what we refer to as the isthmus connecting both the lobes. So many a times the lesion would be confined only to one lobe. So in those situations, you could, if it is a benign lesion, most of the times you could offer the patient what is called as a hemithyroidectomy. Just removing that particular half of the lobe or that particular lobe that is involved by the and sparing the healthy lobe so that hoping that the patient can have adequate hormonal production in the post-operative period which should kind of avoid the need for any kind of thyroxine supplementation later. However, for most of the malignant conditions, the treatment, the surgery that is offered is a total thyroidectomy. Now in very few cases or very few scenarios, select scenarios I would say, we have the option of doing a hemithyroidectomy in a malignancy as well. But by far and large, the most common surgery performed for a malignancy of the thyroid is a total thyroidectomy. Now if there are associated lymph nodes in the neck which show a suspicion of involvement by malignancy, along with the thyroidectomy we will have to do a neck dissection which involves clearing off the lymphatics, the lymph nodes and the fibro fatty tissue around the area of the thyroid gland. Thank you.